This is hilarious. This is classic bus life. I, I almost never look in a mirror and I completely forgot about the bandage. <laughs> I, I had a, a, a little ding on the tip of my nose there and was didn't want to get blood on my pillow last night. So I kind of threw that on there. Completely forgot. My hair probably looks all goof, crazy and stuff too. But uh, yeah, you know, really take a lot of time before setting up these videos, you know. For... Hey, good morning folks let's talk about the uh, front entrance area here is uh, what I've been focused on lately so uh, let me show you what we've been doing so this thing is uh, again it's a big shuttle bus and so uh, we've got three or four actual full big steps coming in and this is the the lobby the entrance the uh, foyer as we say uh, so let me do a quick uh, back up here and we'll show you how uh, how I got to this point and then uh, we'll and we're also break it just down. about ready on this side. We've got the, uh, this is where the washer and dryer stack is going to stand. Got the PEX tubing all in, run up to the uh, water supply. Um, got to still deal with the, the, the drain section here. Um, it has to be finished up and the outlet has to get put in before I can cover this up. And then we can get this a little better prepped for the uh, washer and dryer. And then like right here is where that big shelving unit's gonna sit all the way along this section of wall right here, right across from the bed. And that'll be more of her storage and uh, clothing storage, and quite a bit of other uh, books and things. on our electrical closet. Um, we kind of designed this uh, part of the cabinet to uh, fit all four of them right in here. I put some nice little, little blocking in to kind of hold them in at the bottom down there. Keep a nice little bit of a three quarter inch spacing between them all. And then all of our electrical systems and stuff will all be on this, these walls back here in the closet. So, Got some more framing now to do. I'm gonna create a small little bench seat kind of here in front of this and then uh, frame out the rest here so that uh, you'll have room for a, a cabinet for some tools on the end here. And then the whole closet right the, up in the middle here for all the electrical. Got the rest of our big closet here. Again, for uh, the electrical. This is going to be an, uh, have a have a hinge on it and lift up, so this will all be storage here. And then this is the whole main closet for the electrical system. It's going to be a storage box here for tools. Well, this is uh, this morning's project. Um, she had these uh, louver doors that uh, she had rescued from a previous life. Um, normal full length, 79 inch doors. Um, but the middle bar, uh, from the middle bar to the, to the, actually from the, yeah, the middle bar up was 46 inches. So I just designed this uh, cabinet opening around that and uh, just use standard uh, bifold door hardware, 24 inch wide. And, uh, and now we've got a, a spiffy, a spiffy closet door for our electrical closet in the front of the bus here. So tons and tons of uh, miscellaneous stuff to keep on going, but uh, moving along, making good progress. So she ordered this uh, tool tray uh, cabinet ahead of time, and so we had the dimensions. So I built a uh, space specific for it. You're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming to kind of clean it up, but uh, it's pretty slick. And all the real nice deep, big deep drawers, and uh, handy dandy locking setup. So. Don't have to worry about them flying open on the highway. These uh, a wire, you know, a, hot, a red and a black wire with the little clips like this on both ends. So I basically, you know, ran a section from the battery uh, in here. I set the battery up over here, ran it up to those wires, and then uh, plugged things together. And I think what happened was that when I moved away, as these guys were hanging here, the clips up top here touched each other. And that's what happened. All of a sudden, it was smoking, and uh, it's amazing one little battery like that how much power that can do. But I see the smoke happening, so I thought, well, Jesus, I gotta, oh, I gotta disconnect that. So, like an idiot, I reached down and I grabbed the 
grabbed the wire, the, the red one, to pull the clip off. And as soon as I grabbed it, I realized that was not a good idea. And because that's what happened. Hard to see here. Let's see, there we go. You kind of make it out, but you can just see exactly where, right where I grabbed the wire. <laughs> and a couple spots that I still have bandaged are uh, in a little rougher shape, but got some uh, Neosporin and bandages on them. Iced it for almost two hours right afterwards, so I think it helped keep it from getting, being a lot worse. But even a little 12-volt battery can mess you up. So uh, Okay, so we had the uh, old electrical box was sitting right here. And uh, we were able to eliminate 80% of what was uh, the wires that were running every which way. But uh, and instead of uh, in reinstalling that whole thing, I just we took it apart and uh, basically reassembled what we had to assemble uh, to get it to uh, for the bus to still work. And then our other solar and the rest of that stuff's going to be in here. So this will be the uh, quite the full-on electrical closet. But now that frees up this whole space for. Uh, um, a nice little storage compartment over here, and then uh, got space for another one over on this side. Which, so here in the front entry area, again, we've got our huge closet here for all the electrical. Um, got another space up front here that's uh, just for storage. Got the, the storage cabinet in, installed. Got our lighting switch with the dimmer on it here for these guys. We went ahead and did a second Max Air fan up here. Up in the so we got one and one here and then one all the way at the back so we can pull air through if we have to and I've got a temporary solar setup going on with one of our solar panels outside hooked up to just one of the batteries under here and I had my uh, one of my old charge controllers here so I hooked that all up so that we could have all these lights the low voltage stuff working and uh, also mounting various security cameras we got one up on the front up here we got one on each side, similar to how our bus is set up actually. And I'm gonna be one in the very back, of course, for a backup camera, and then actually one more on interior version like this, that'll have, uh, you know, in case uh, it's got a system where you can check in on things and make sure things are going okay, are okay in the bus, check on the dogs or whatever, so. And then yesterday I was working on the other panel for the washing machine enclosure here. Um, still need to, it's just sitting here fitted in place right now. Um, the plan is that uh, we can basically be able to pull this, slide it out, get it out of the way, bring in the, the it's a stack washer and dryer set, so it's going to stick all the way up to the top here. Get that in, get it mounted, then slide the panel back in, and I'm going to be able to, I made this cabinet over the door yesterday that uh, we'll be able to secure through the door to hold the panel here, and then I'll use a block down here on the bottom to sort of, you know, lock the panel in place on the bottom, and then maybe one more of the... Uh, on this side, I just used the little tiny uh, L brackets. And so maybe I'll have one L bracket that's reachable on this side. We'll see how that works with the washer once we get it set in here. So yeah, they, when they did all the spray foaming here, they did uh, all of these areas up on the front. Now that I moved that electrical, I, I, I enclosed or, or put some covering over this area so that uh, it's ready for some sanding and some painting. But what I'm gonna do is build a, uh, a cabinet that'll go in here and basically the whole thing will be one unit that I can take and just slide in here and screw into place through the trim. And that way, if for any reason you have to access the wiring or have to deal with anything, pull, we, all you have to do is pull a couple of screws and that entire uh, cabinet can come out um, instead of having it all locked in there permanently. Same thing on this side here. Um, got all this space back here. Might as well utilize as much of it as possible. There are going to be some pretty crazy little custom cabinets that'll be in there to fill in the space. This front one, uh, when they did the spray foam, there was this existing panel still on here and it's right up close to the surface. So it really didn't get insulated that well. Um, we have our camera up here going through the ceiling and we've got our running lights actually. We've got to finish wiring those. So in the meantime, uh, but in the, this will all get a, a nice thick layer of insulation on it. Uh, the other day in the afternoon when it was hot, this, you could just put your hand on here and it was hot. So. You can really tell the difference between where it got insulated and where it didn't.
Well, there you go. That's a fun sneak peek of our entry area. I hope you enjoyed that. Got uh, a lot more coming, working our way up towards the front. Got the bathroom here, got the, the living or the bedroom area, and uh, it's getting going on the kitchen now. So uh, come on back for the future videos to see how this uh, big shuttle bus finishes up. And uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, hit the uh, notification bell so that uh, you can see and follow along on the entire build. And be sure to also look back, uh, there's playlists on our channel for all of the other builds I've done, including a, a Ford Transit, a nice short bus, um, and of course our original shuttle bus build from the very beginning. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure to uh, come on back for the next time.